And hello, EU Chameleons Against Name. This is going to be a good one. I'm your host, Luke, alongside me is Jerry from the UK making his casting season four debut. And on the sidelines here on the desk, we have the ever so wonderful Woodsy. And don't forget, last but certainly not least on camps is Newton Dad, the Southern Tech Slinger himself. Hope you're doing well. I know I am, Jerry. How you feeling coming into this match? Oh, I'm feeling very good. Uh, both these teams have uh, showed to be excellent in the past. I'm just really excited to see how they play against each other. I certainly am as well, and I do believe Woodsy. Did you get a chance to talk to these games before these teams beforehand? How are they feeling? Uh, I mean, both of the teams are feeling pretty good. Name their captain said, "Feeling pretty good. Our team can be a bit messy sometimes, but it had always always worked out. Chameleons is a strong team, according to them, so they'll give it everything to beat them. But from the side of Chameleons." They said it's good, and they think it's going to be a much closer match than people think. So hoping for some nice close action here. There we go. Hoping for some nice close action. Maybe a round three. Maybe a round three OT. That would certainly be a treat for uh, Jerry's first cast season four. I only can hope so. As we do have the ready up to come through from Chameleons. Name ready up as well. So we are going to go right into this first round. Hope everyone in the chat is doing well. Thanks for joining. Ant Bud, Jinx, Arena Wolves, Scares VR, Goat Gaming, Farsight, and everyone else. Happy Saturday. Jerry, take us in. Uh, as Woody would say, I can hear the rumblers waiting to fill off. It looks like uh, Name is going to take the jabs here. Ooh. Very close. Uh, nice from Yumiri. Going to clear it down left. It's just going to bounce up top. Looks like... Uh, Saiyan's gonna take it, clear it down, gonna go all the way through, but Chameleon, uh, sorry, but Name, uh, Stack is gonna be there to intercept. Miola, with the receive, gonna go for the shot, but just a bit down low, Miola's gonna take it again, he's gonna have it, he's gonna be holding it, gonna go for the pass to shield, Game Tech's gonna receive, go for the behind the back, but Yamari's gonna be there, he's gonna throw it, gonna bounce down off the Geo, but... Uh, Chirby's gonna take it and clear it down left. Gonna be in the half now, gonna be floating around. Looks like it's gonna be a race. A race that Sock seems to have won as he slaps it down mid. But Sion's gonna be able to take that. Goes to the pass down to right boot, but he gets stunned by Miola. A nice stun. Miola gonna clear it down right. It's gonna bounce up, gonna be around kind of mid area. Miola's gonna pick it up. A nice steal from Sion. He's gonna be floating it up, but oh. Sock is there to stun and slamming oh. throws. Oh, Ooh, man. Very close shot. Uh, Looks like Yamari's going to have it here. Pass the slimy throw. Goes for the 360, but just gets stunned. Man, oh man. So back and forth. But now Sion picks it up. Cut iron over to slimy thrower. Slimy thrower back to Yanmarie. Yanmarie to the back of the net. Ooh. First two points on the board for Chameleons in Season 4. Yes. Well, some great passing there between Chameleons. Just led to an absolutely amazing play that uh, Name's defense couldn't quite defend. They certainly couldn't, but they do have time to come back. Hey, Jinx, hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's Jerry's first cast, season four. Having a good time joining me alongside Woodsy on the sideline. And it should be Woodsy and Jerry next time. And yes, I certainly agree. Woodsy, Jerry, next big caster duo. I hope so, as that ball a disc just goes right past the net. But Slimy Thrower looks to recover. No, it's going to be right back. Slimy Thrower in mud. No, not finding a teammate. Instead, that's going to bounce way high and wide. But now, who is it going to be? It's Sion. No, it's Zok, who is going to go for the clear. But Yan Marie turns it right back around. Sion now dipsy doodles, but no, gets stunned in the face by Manola, who's going to clear it out down the way. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be another stack race that Game Tech will win this time. Just going to be uh, a nice pass to Shield. Unfortunately, a bit wide, so it couldn't quite receive it. Looks like Sock's going to. Not quite recollect it actually. Sion's gonna have it now. Clear it down mid. It's gonna go. It's gonna go all the way through with the with chameleon stack perfectly there. Oh, just dinging off the rim. Very very close. Looks like they're still gonna have it. So, oh, very a nice shot. Yeah, man. I mean, box getting a piece of it. Unfortunate when uh, you know you get a little bit, but not enough. What the fuck? I hit puberty again. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh i'm glad that uh i got i don't know i don't know what i'm glad about but thanks for hanging out in chat um but it's gonna be game tech now just slowing the pace down of this game and that's what we expect to see i mean both these teams i do believe are gold um at least they were last season and uh name just plays their game but unfortunately that's not gonna pass is not gonna connect to any teammate but the slap comes through but not to the back of the net as that is gonna go all the way back down and game tech is again slowing down the play and just biding his time. 
Yeah, a nice pass from Game Tech after Box. Box seems to be walking it in, goes for the two, and lovely save from Slimy Charles, but Game Tech comes in and steals it right off him and puts it in for Slam Dunk. Very lovely steal from Game Tech there. Yeah, what a great job from them as Nim gets their first two points on the board with six and a half minutes on the clock. Let's see what can happen. Yeah, much love to Newton Dad on camps. I agree, SX. Assuming you're still in the Arena Wolves channel. Uh, but yeah, Marie now goes left. No, not finding success, not finding a teammate, but the slap does come through, but that's an unfortunate bounce for them as it's going to be slapped right back by Blue. But where's the stack? Can the stack recover in time? No, it's going to be Yan Marie getting the clear. And that's not a pass that connected, but hey, the disc gets downfield all the way into the midfield, in fact, but turned right back around. Scion goes for a long three, but no intercepted. Stunned in the face immediately. It's a scramble. Who's there to pick it up? It's bouncing around. It's bouncing almost in the bubble, but it will be Zion diving in and getting a save by Box, who's going to clear it right back where it came from. What a save from Box there. Just managing to clear it down. Box recollects it here again. Goes to the long shot, but it's just a bit wide. Into slimy throws hand. Goes to the clear down right tunnel. Not quite out. Just bouncing around trap. Here gets Miola with it now. Miola passing. Just bouncing off of the Geo, though. It's like Sox going to get it with a nice slap down back to Box. Box is going to be walking it up now. Walking it up. Looking for a pass. There it is. Pass to Sock. What a lovely pass. Back straight to Box. Box pass to Game Tech. But he's just stunned. Oh, very unfortunate there. Miola's going to have it now. Pass it straight back down. Straight back into the main play. But, oh, the pass back and oh forth. My. And Game Tech puts it in. What a <laughs> lovely play from Name there. Oh, my goodness. Game Tech and Sox actually absolutely showing us a masterclass in infield passing. Going right into that bubble where one extra pass made it a 100% chance to score. 4-4. Name looking to come back. And it is going to be taken oh, by oh, Game oh. Tech. It's a three. <laughs> this momentum has turned around as Name takes the lead. 7-4. Oh, my God. Wow, what a close game. We were just thinking... Oh, you were just saying about how comeback is on, but then Fox or Game Tech comes to just instantly deny it. Oh. I think the server may have crashed. <laughs> we, yes, it has. Yep. Unfortunate, it is happening more frequently than not. So we're going to take a quick break here, and we're going to go back to our uh, stat screen. And as we do that, let's take it to the wonderful Woodsy. Woodsy, my man, I mean, we're just about halfway through round one. It's a back and forth matchup. What have you seen? I mean, certainly a back and forth matchup. Both of these teams have some experienced players, but Chameleons have been a team for a long time. It's not uncommon to hear teams coming from season three, but this team been around since season two. I can remember playing against them all the way back then, and they were pretty good, and they've still held that. Very, very high amounts of roster changes, though. I think only one original player staying on the team now, but still, play, being a team for that long does bring some chemistry, even with roster changes, does bring some ambition from the players but from the side of name some well-established players just a new team maybe showing why it took them a little bit longer to warm up they're still getting used to each other they're still getting used to getting into that group but certainly when we saw them turn on they certainly did with just the amazing passes coming through into the bubble and the defense from chameleons just couldn't quite hold towards the end of that section there but lovely plays from both teams chameleons really looking for these stacks into the enemy half not as many passes once they get there. Lots of stacking from them. Stacks from both teams have been good, but the passes from Name really coming out. Absolutely. I mean, the Name turning this game around with those stacks, with those passes. I certainly agree. Absolutely fantastic analysis, as always, from the one and only Woodsy. But, hey, it's a new caster. It's Jerry. Let's get to know him. And Wolfo asked the first question of the night. Jerry, what's your favorite pizza toppings? Uh, I got I to say just cheese and tomato sauce. I, it's just my favorite. Uh, no, no, sorry, uh, tomato sauce. Uh, our, our, our cameraman, Newton Dad, not understanding the beautiful UK accent, um, but that's okay. Um, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I thought the chat was goofing on me with the name Jerry. No, his name is Jerry, the one and only. His, his actual uh, Discord name is uh, Hi, I'm Big Jerry. So he's not just Jerry, he's Big Jerry. Um, but yeah, I mean, my favorite pizza toppings, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll go to t contentious. I like uh, either a deluxe, which isn't contentious, or uh, Hawaiian. I love pineapple, good times. But uh, how about you, Woodsy? What's your favorite? Uh, to be fair, I like quite a different few toppings. I mean, pepperoni, nice and basic, but also Hawaiian pizza is sometimes good. Controversial opinion as always, but pineapple, I like it on pizza. 
You know, 100% Arena Wolves saying there's only one right option. What's the right option? What's the right option for your pizza? I know you're talking about something else, but I'm going to ask you anyway. What's the option for your pizza, Arena Wolves? I want to know. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully everyone's having a good time. Who do you think is going to take it in chat? I mean, we don't have prediction polls here on VRML2. Um, one whole pineapple. I love it, Wolfo. Send me a picture next time you make that. I think we would all get a good chuckle. Uh, but as we are here, huge shout out to all our sponsors who do make this possible. HyperX, Asterian Products, Pro2 VR, Rebuff Reality, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. If any of you folks in chat do run a pizza shop, though, make sure to reach out to VRML and we can get those pizza toppings sponsored. And we can definitely get those a uh, one whole pineapple for you, Wolfo. Also, huge shout out to IgniteVR.gg and the Spark application. Also, the new mobile beta. This, is, I do believe, is how we got the Spark link for all us casters to hop in the match. Because Woodsy, my man... The one and only has uh, downloaded the Spark beta on his phone and uh, figured it out and made it super easy to connect from his quest uh, to the same match made on a 100% so chance to score huge for Spark. Download Spark Pogs as Wintry Ice, 100% IgniteVR.gg forward slash Spark. Make sure you do that. Um, but man, huge shout out to all you folks in chat joining us today. And the next question that we always like to ask, actually, actually we, it's a new one that Woodsy came up with yesterday or two days ago. Jerry, what brought you to this crazy game? How long have you been around, and why did you stick around? Uh, well, I I was just scrolling through YouTube once, and I recommended a video uh, from an ECL or ESL tournament for Echo Arena, and I just instantly fell in love. Uh, it's the only reason Echo VR is the only reason that I got a quest to begin with. So you so you you found videos mm. of the game, you liked mm. the game, and then you bought the headset. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And That's then I so stayed. Cool. I stayed because it is the best game ever made. There you go. Niall saying that uh, Jerry is always super chill and he's always in his lobbies. So uh, mad props to Niles and mad love to Jerry. As we do have another invite to the server, so the Spark link will come through here in just a second. But man, huge shout out to Spark again. I can't say that enough. You want your games casted? You want your casters to love you forever? Download Spark. Send us a Spark link. Make <laughs> everyone's lives easier, um, especially moments like these. But uh, the Spark Link is in live in just a second, folks. Uh, maybe Woodsy can get in too. Um, let's see. Oh, they also got an invite. So let's see. Uh, because of meatballs, they are just building up momentum. How does one download the Spark Beta on mobile? Great question. So if you go onto Discord, uh, sorry, you have to join the uh, Ignite Discord. So ignite.gg, um, that's the web, igniteVR.gg, that's the website. If you go there, you click join Discord. Then in the roles channel, you have to opt into the beta. And then you'll get access to the beta channel and the download is pinned. You have to, if you have different instructions depending on your Android or iOS, but all the instructions are there and it's super, super duper simple to set up once you do. Um, but that's it. Well, we, I think we are gonna ping these teams to get ready as we are back in the server. Four minutes left, four to seven is the score. And let's see if Name can continue this momentum coming into it, or if it is going to turn around. I'm not quite sure. I actually found it on the Play Store. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I only have iOS, so for me it was like a I had to download the, the beta app version. Anyway, it was, it's okay. Well, it's easier on Google apparently. So uh, definitely a huge shout out to Google and making things easy. I uh, I uh, I like hating myself, so I use Apple. Um, but uh, that's okay. Bro, Twitch chat is Goach Gaming. That's okay. It happens. Um, have we pinged these teams to ready up? I think so. Um, are they readying up? I don't think so. But uh, as we are going into it, I mean, Woodsy, coming into this uh, second half of round one, what do you expect to see if Chameleons want to come back and take the lead? I mean, I expect to see a lot more passes coming out and a lot more quick pace plays. They should get that into the enemy half, but then just pass it around. Know when to slow down. The goal is certainly the target, but you don't always need to be moving forwards. Feel free to pass it back out, get back out of that goal area, get out of that bubble, and just take it back for some nice resets, slow down that play, draw the defensive players out. Yeah, for sure. Let's see if that can happen. Thank you for the insight, as always, Woodsy. Absolutely master of a game, uh, master tier player as well, so huge shout out to him and his team. But we are going to have a pause. Um, unsure why. We're just here to have fun. Um, I like spending too much money mm. to Luke says Arena Wolves. To, to what? What did I say? To buying headsets? I'm not quite sure. Um, I think about to be the fair, Apple. though, Wolfo is greater than Woodsy. I don't know. You tell me, Wolfo. I think you're a little bit biased. It <laughs> seems that you keep on saying you're better than Woodsy, and Woodsy keeps on saying he's better than you. 
but we need a third party to vote. So let me know in chat who's better. No, don't do that. Um, but let you let me know in chat who's going <laughs> to win this game. Names up three points, but we're going to go right back into the action right here, right now. Big Jerry, my man, why don't you take it away? All right, well, we, we see Chameleons here on the Joust Advantage. Uh, Slime's going to pick up, throw it left. But, oh, the stack from Name is able to collect that. Going for the pass down floor. Uh, Miola having it here, just holding it, seeing what's up, seeing what's happening. Miola's just going to wait for the push. Maybe going for the pass up shoulder. Makes it. It connects. Game tech going for the shot. Ooh. But, oh, a nice save from Yamari. Clears it down. It's going to be, oh, it's not quite out. Bouncing off the Geo. Going to be bouncing around here. See who can collect it. Not no one yet. All right, yeah, Marie finally gets it. Clears it down left tunnel. That's going to go all the way through. It's going to go all the way through, but picked up by the defensive stacks, Miola. He's looking right back where it came from. Both these teams are high gold. They're looking to break into that ever-elusive plat division, and it's going to start right here at the beginning of Season 4 to get the win, to get that ELO boost, that rating boost. But only one team can get it. One team will go down as Chirby now picks up the disc. And he's just going to slow down the play. We saw this setting up from name from Game Tech from the side of blue. But now we're going to see Chirby bait out the defenders too. That's a pass to good pass to Yann Marie. But takes too long as Game Tech's going to intercept. That's a long bounce. But is the stack there to pick up? The stack is coming. The stack is there. The stack takes a long three. Ooh. And it's good. Bach, 13 meters out. They hit those. What a stack. From, uh, from box and i can't remember who else was there but but they're just able to clear it down and get there instantly and go for the amazing long shot hits it gets it right on target see chameleons here now with joust advantage once again uh looks like yeah he's gonna pick it up pass it down pass it left gonna connect gonna clear it down left tunnel it's gonna go all the way through but but name's uh, stack is gonna get there oh a lovely steal but another steal right back from game tech i'm just gonna flow it down slow it down gonna clear it down now uh, looks like, oh, maybe a shot, but just a bit wide. But the stack is again showing how fast name stacks can be. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What an amazing momentum for name. I thought it was going to be killed, I thought it was going to be slashed, murdered, destroyed <laughs> after that extended pause. But no, name comes back with a vengeance now, eight point lead. Yeah, Marie, looking to turn this game around. There is two minutes on the clock. It is still possible, but the more goals that get scored, the more it's not, as that just whiffs wide of the net. But it is going to be Miola baiting it out, going for a long pass. It's good as Box finds the back of it. This game, 14-4, 10 point lead name. Some excellent capitalization on Chameleon's mistakes from name. Like, they mess up a single pass and their stack's like just instantly right in there to go on the offensive. A great job from them. That's almost master tier. Like Jerry and Woodsy, they are on the same team. Uh, I was just, no, I just, I didn't realize that. So that's a uh, super cool um, by them. The dynamic duo of them, both in the Ooh. arena and in the casting booth. Ooh. But it is going to be Game Tech picking up the disc now. Slimy Thrower is going to just throw for a clear, but unfortunately, that's going to be bouncing unfavorably all around everywhere until it does get picked up by Sock, who's looking right back the other way but he doesn't mind he doesn't care as this game round one is definitely going to go in his favor but there's a slap from Zion and even though this game's out of reach Chameleons may have momentum yeah score, scoring in the last second of the game it really boosts morale so Chameleons might not take this round but next round their morale will be up and they'll, they'll be right back in the action yeah, and let's see what that momentum shift may or may not look like. Name still had a lot of it, but can Chameleons steal their thunder? As that's going to be a long shot, but no, intercepted by Yann Marie, but no, uh, knocked out of the hands by the fast axe and Name, who's going to put two more points on the board. I mean, Sog, absolutely insane. 12 seconds now. That's round one. I mean, Name came back with a vengeance. Chameleon scored, maybe trying to get some momentum going for them. But Name comes back and says, uh uh uh, we have this in the bag. 16 6, 10 point lead round one. Let's see what round two can offer. But Woodsy, I mean, I know we talked a little bit about this match already. What have you seen in the second half of round one? I mean, we certainly need to talk again because a lot has happened since then. I mean, the 10 point difference. Where did that come from? The sack's absolutely amazing from Name. Certainly shows how experience doesn't always mean everything. The Chameleons certainly have experience, but Name's certainly been training on that as their stacks are lightning quick. The chemistry coming out from these guys is amazing. They're able to find them, they're able to collect them quickly, and they're able to accurately get that disc. That's the hardest bit, finding that disc and stacking to it, not past it. And they are doing that absolutely amazingly, securing so many points. But Chameleons, 
just coming back at the end a little bit, getting those points on the board, able to get some of their morale boost up. I've certainly taught Jerry well, talking about the mental game already, because that's certainly a massive thing here. Chameleons need to keep their heads up moving into this next round, and just don't get too cocky on the side of name. Just treat it as if it's first round, as if anything could happen, because you never know what chameleons could pull out of the bag. You certainly never do, and yeah, I mean, 100%, great job from Jerry, Big Jerry, on his like, Season 4 debut, but hey, he's well experienced in this game, also in the Master Division. I mean, I've always asked Woodsy this question, Jerry, but I guess it's your turn. What would you tell, what would you be telling your team if you were Chameleons down and you were coming into the second round? Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I think Woodsy put it perfectly, I think, just keep your chin up, you know, uh, and you've just, uh, you know, that means everything in this game. It certainly does. Mental attitude, and that's going to be taken up from Name. Name has their attitude as they're looking to put points on the board quickly. Quick pass over to Sock. Sock over to Ooh. No the Post. <laughs> as that's not going to find the back of the net, but the right idea is there. Name coming out with a vengeance. They want to make a name for themselves as that's going to be Box on the back line. Unfortunate pass. It hits off the Geo as that is just going to be a turnover into the hands of Slimy Thrower. Yeah, well, it looks like uh, the clue is a little bit boss just off the Geo. Yamari's going to pick it up now. Oh, but the stack once again from Name. They're just going to be there. They're never not there. A great pass to oh, yeah. Box. Box just going to flow it up now. See, you know, just looking around. What's up? Oh, he uh, accidentally throws it right into the head of one of their of one of Chameleon's players. It's, it's just going to be floating now, a bit chaotic. But Sock's going to pick it up now. Pass it down. What a, lo a lovely pass down to Box. But a headbutt from Slimy Thrower. But well, once again, Miola's just going to be there to pick it up, you know. A uh, nice reset pass to Sock. T down to Box. Box looking to go for the sh uh, go for the pass, actually. Down to Sock. Oh, and a ding off the rim into the net. Yeah, um, ding on the rim into the net. There is needs to be a restart match, though, because they did only have four minutes on the clock. Um, <laughs> but uh, hopefully they noticed that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, whatever. Maybe they'll notice, maybe they won't. But it's 2-0, as it is going to be Game Tech. Going for a long shot, but no, not finding the back of the net that time, as that is going to bounce low. Uh, but now they've noticed, as that's going to go into the tub and uh, re hit restart. Maybe they'll give them the two points up name. Uh, maybe not. Let's see how nice hmm. they are, as that is a rematch. <laughs> um, all right. There yes. we go. Always good. Always good fun to have uh, lots of tech issues <laughs> the first game of the season, especially for Big Jerry. But I mean, how you feeling first cast? How you how you doing? You know, I was a bit nervous at first, but you know, it's fun. Uh, you know, it is. I do know. I do understand. Um, I may or may not be addicted to this thing, but that's okay. Um, as we are going to get the reset, probably just discussing now whether or not Nam is going to get those two points on the board or not. And it looks like they're not. <laughs> It looks like they're just going to start over. Great sportsmanlike conduct from both these teams. That's what we love to see. Because, I mean, that's what that's what it is at the end of the day, right? We play this game for fun. We don't play this hmm. to win a million dollars. We're not professionals. We just do it to have a blast playing some VR with our friends. And that's exactly what these teams are doing with their friends. But they're hungry for a victory. Name is, as they are going to win that offensive joust one more time. And maybe this time it will be a different score line. But no, Slimy Thrower gets a clear. But that's going to be a pass instead to Zion. Zion, that's the right angle for the bounce shot. But his teammate is able to pick it up. Denied. But denied Ooh. again by Game Tech, who looks for the clear. <laughs> oh, so, an interesting save there from Chameleons. Uh, but Game Tech be able to steal out their hands. Miola now just flowing it up. Seems, seems just trying to walk it up. Goes to the two. <laughs> 18. Wowzers. Wowzers. I love it. I think yesterday you said epic sauce. You are going to hear all the best <laughs> exciting words here from Big Jerry. But uh, my man, two points up already is named. Named. They said that they weren't confident with the restart. Why? Because they are playing their game. They are confident in their ability and they prove it here time and time again. Is There's another interception. Are they going to go for the long three? No, they're just going to go for the pass. Guaranteed goals are much better as they do hit the post. But Game Tech is there to finish the job. 4 0. Name only a couple minutes in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after the restart, they were two points up. They were just hungry to get that two points back, and they got it. Uh, and, and the ding from Game Tech. Just call it a self-pass, I think. I think that's the best way to go about that one. And we see Chameleons with Jazz Advantage. 
Tell me if they're going to pass it right. It's going to bounce off the wall into the hand. Nice. Cherby having it now. But a Ooh. nice offense from Game Ooh. Tech. Stack me over Ooh. Game Tech. And goes for the long oh. shot, but it's just bouncing wrong off the backboard. Really unfortunate there. Looks like it's going to be just a bit loose here. Looks like Chameleon Stack are going to have it. They're going to chase it down as well. Who's going to get it first? Chameleons, can they get it for the two? They can. Yeah, I mean, that's what you needed to see from Chameleons. Two unanswered goals, but many more in reality uh, from previous match. Well, technically, I guess one in round one. Regardless, two points differential now. Name is of uh, the first time for their just advantage. Let's see what they're going to do. Maybe a relay play? No, nope, they're just going to play it slow. They're going to want them to come to them, but there's a long dump. Uh, that dump and clear is going to connect. Maybe even an intentional bounce pass. As that's going to be a long pass across. Again, another pass. This one doesn't connect. As Slimy Thrower is going to look right back the other way. And send that disc down. Yeah, nice. Oh, Slimy and Stack. Oh, but a nice a nice pickup from Fox. Going to pass it back. Pass to Sox. Sox going to bounce it off the boot. It's going to go up top. Who's going to get it first? A nice stun from Sion. But Game Tech is there. Another stun from Sion. But he manages to get it down into their half. Looks like it's just going to be a bit loose here. Sion once again has it. But oh. once again, the stack from Name just displaying greatness. An unlucky bounce shot, though, off the post. Really unfortunate. But Name stack here chasing it down. Oh, but not quite Ooh. as fast as Chameleons as they get the slam dunk. Man, what an amazing counterattack from them. Name misses a couple opportunities and Chameleons punish. Right back on, the game is tied 0-0 effectively with seven minutes on the clock. It's still in anyone's bag as it is going to be pushed downfield by Game Tech. There's another pass, but a lot shorter this time. Box now. Box long over. They're trying to dump and clear and dump and chase and collect, and they finally do. But they are going to get stunned as his teammate does bunch up with him. And who wears the disc? It's going to be in the hands of Game Tech. Game Tech on the ground going for the low reset. It's good. As the stack is there to recollect, having two options, one high, one to the left. He's going to go deep as Game Tech gets free, but that pass does not quite connect, unfortunately. But it will be the backline player who's box, box over to Moliola. Miola bounce pass over to Sock. Sock diving in, but stolen by Slimy Thrower, and he's going to clear it down the other way. But the stack is right there. The stack is ready. The stack is wanting to take the lead, and they're going to wait. But they will, as Slimy Thrower gently places it in the back of that 6 4. Yeah, a very nice stack from Chameleons there. Just able to, just, you know, I, I, I don't know how to put it, uh, adapt, I guess, and just get there really offensively. He certainly will. Let's see, as that is going to be box, taking a time. And bounced around. I mean, this is what we saw when they were down in round one. They just slowed down. They played their game. They played confidently. And although it's risky, it's quality over quantity. That's exactly what they're going for here. His box is just waiting for Chameleons to bite. But what if they don't? There they go. They bit. And that pass <laughs> immediately comes down to Sock. Sock immediately goes back to box on the back line. And they're just going to do this again. They can do this all day. Now they're going to go right as they do bait out the stack. The stack's pressuring, though. But the fast pass across is good. Beautiful gameplay from these high gold teams. Name and Chameleons. Name's new. Chameleons been around the block. But it is going to be quickly backed up to box. Box now clearing it downfield to his teammate, Miola. Miola, the stack's there, but so is the other team. Slimy thrower intercepts, but so does Miola. Miola, a long pass across over to box. Box to the back of the net. What a play name playing patiently with the attack. Six all. Yeah, no, it's an amazing play from Name. They're just slowing it down, just really taking it chill. And then all of a sudden speeding up. I don't think Chameleons expected it. They were so fast all of a sudden out of nowhere. Chameleons with Joust advantage. Let's see what they do here. But Yamri's going to pick up, pass it left. It's going to connect to Sion. It's going to pass it mid. Slammy Throw is going to take it now. Slammy Throw is going to clear it. Go for the long shot. Unfortunately, not connecting just a bit up top. Sion's going to take it here, though. Going for the uh... shot, but it goes open. And he's made the three, making the scoreline even larger. Man, I mean, name a beautiful play. Masterclass in playing and changing the pace of the game. But Chameleons responding quick only took about 10 seconds. I did miss the time. 
but it's going to be a three-point game as Name does pick it up. Going faster pace this time as Box quickly has it. Hawks passing over to the other stack. They recover it. There's a quick pass, but intercepted by Slimy Thrower, who's going to look right back the other way downfield, but this plays far from over as the stack comes through. They're both neck and neck. Who's there? But it is going to be Scion for two. 11-6. Chameleons have a five-point lead. Yeah, Chameleons really stepped up their game this round. They, they must have been angered by the scoreline of last round. They are just going very offensive now and just, you know, making the scoreline larger and larger. Now we've got Name with the Jazz advantage. Game Tech's going to pick it up. Going to pass down the left. It's going to connect. Miola's going to take it, clear it down. Uh, look, uh, looks like Name's stack is going to be there. Um, again, just always there. Sock's going to receive it now. Pass it to oh. backboard. Oh, going to... Oh, he's just going to get stunned, I believe, and mate, allowing him to miss the shot. It's going to be Floating down mid, but name stack once again is there to recollect as they clear it back down. Looks like Box is there to take it now. Box is going to hold it, slow it down a bit, slow it down. Going to move back, move back. See what he does here. Goes okay, goes to the cross pass. Going to connect. Game Tech's going to take it. Going to go cross to Box once again. Looks going to walking it up. Goes to the walk and lovely Ooh. save from Yamari as she clears it back down into mid. Yeah, great job from them, but they are trying to go for the leech, but it's unsuccessful as the stun comes come through by Sion, who then picks up the disc. Quick pass up to a teammate, Slimy Thrower, Slimy Thrower over to Yan Marie, Yan Marie to the back of the net. 13 6, Chameleon's on fire here in round two. Yeah, almost nearly getting to the same scoreline as last round. Can they really, they really came out with a vengeance here, Chameleons. Once again, putting name on the uh, Joust advantage. Let's see what they do. Name are nine, no, nine, no, eight, eight, seven, seven points down. There we go. As uh, he's going to be almost bouncing to the back of the net. But what a recovery by Box as that is going to bounce all the way into the tunnel. But so is the stack is there. But the disc is free. Who's there to recover? It's almost Box, but no, it's Miola. Miola gets turned over, though, by Scion. Scion, quick shot. It's too quick. As that's going to have another opportunity, though. Intercepted, Ooh. though, by Box. 120 on the clock. There uh, might not be time now, but that bounce almost finding success. But it will get recovered, uh, maybe. Yes, by Mayola, who is looking for the cross pass. It's good. Now Sock, Sock going for the reset. Reset of Box, Box. One minute on the clock. This game is out of reach. We are going to see a round three, but that doesn't mean the momentum cannot turn right back around. His name's going to pass. Quickly anchor shot from the nest area. That's that Geo that he was on, but he did get stunned, so that shot's not going the right angle. He wanted it to as it is going to get recovered by Jan Marie. Long three, but no, not success there Ooh. too. But it is going to be picked up. Shot, no, as that's Ooh. going to be recovered one more time. Third time's oh. a charm, but Miola saves oh. and clears. What a save there from Miola. I just have to say, what a game this has been so far. Like 16-6 six, to name in the first round, 13-6 to, or maybe even more, to Chameleons in the second. Like, what will happen in round three? Will they will just be the most high-scoring game we've seen? <laughs> Man, who, who's ready for a 2020 OT, okay? I'm calling it now. Let's see. But unfortunately, probably not. But uh, Scion is going to be coming over to Slimy Thrower. Nine seconds. There's a shot, but that's going to miss. But it's going to be Zion for two more as Sock does get a piece of it, but not enough as that's the end of round two. Oh, my goodness. Woodsy, what have you seen? Uh, too much to explain, if I'm honest to you. Both teams just playing absolutely amazingly in Chameleons. Really coming out with the right mindset this time. They knew what they needed to do, and they have certainly delivered. I mean, 15-6. It was only one point off the score of the previous round. Almost flipped around. They certainly knew what they were doing, but still, Miola playing absolutely perfectly on that defense, and all of name were. Some absolutely stunning saves coming out from them. I mean, if you look at the stats, how many is that? Five players have two saves. They're not quite there yet, I don't think. But five players have two saves, and the points are absolutely amazing across the board as well. But Sion, with seven points, really showing his worth in this round. It has been absolutely amazing from both teams as Chameleons, just really getting their stacks in, really getting their passes going, playing it perfectly into that goal. Yeah, I mean, wow. I couldn't agree more. Chameleons, as you were saying earlier when you talked to them, they want to go for gold. I mean, they're looking solid. Um, they want to go as far as they can. 
Um, but man, they're looking solid with the comeback. I mean, adapting is so important in this game. And I mean, Woodsy, what can Name do to adapt to this new aggression from Chameleons in round three? Uh, Name maybe should slow it down. Maybe they should start doing some more pass around. Maybe they should get some more plays flowing because they're trying to play very offensive and that's not working now for them. Maybe they should slow it down going into this round. Let's see what they can do with that as that is going to be Name winning the joust again. Three to three for them, but it's going to be immediately turned over. Slamming thrower, long shot, long shot, long recovery maybe, but no, just bounces them favorably as Slamming thrower has another opportunity. Bounce shot, Ooh. hits the post as that is going to bounce out and recovered by Box, but turned over immediately by Scion. Scion diving in, post again. Who's there? Slammy is. Slammy, no. Miola intercepts. That's going to get cleared into the neutral zone. Oh my god, just some absolute chaos there around Blue Team's bubble as Yamari manages to clear it back down. Can they get back on the offensive straight away? A nice stun from Sign. He has the open shot. He goes for it and he hits wow. it. Wow. I mean, Chameleon's looking strong in round two and they are keeping it up here in the third round as well. Three points early on in the board. Only took 57 seconds-ish. 50 seconds, sir. Um... But man, I mean, name on the back foot already. Nine minutes left. What can they do as a counterattack? They've been playing slow. They've been playing calculated. Let's see if they can play fast and store some quick goals. And that is going to get picked up and bumped off the head of Sox. Sox there to recover, though. Now looking across, passing good to Mayola. Mayola, bounce pass. It's not finding its intended mark, though. Instead, it's going to find the hands of Slimy, who's going to clear it downfield. And so is the stack is there. But there is also blue. And they do recover. They deny the two. But Cyan is again going for the shot. And it's good. Five points on the board, Camille. <laughs> Some absolute chaos around Name's bubble there, but Chameleon's able to capitalize on it and just, you know, get it get it in for the two, making it five five points to Chameleon's zero to Name. Let's see what Name can do, see if they can turn it around on the Joust advantage. Uh, looks like Gamejack's going to pick it up, pass it left once again. Uh, looks like, oh, unlucky to clear straight into the hands. Ooh. Oh, but it intercepts it again. Oh my goodness, what is happening right now as the stack from Name is able to get it into the goal? Wow. Wowza, as you like to say, or <laughs> epic sauce, because Game Tech is absolutely amazing here in this third round. Three point differential name are climbing their way back. They need to tie it up. They want to take this game. They do not want the reverse sweep from Chameleons. They want this round, uh, which right, game one victory, season week one, season four week one victory. But that's going to be bouncing everywhere, but not into the hands of anybody. Eventually, we'll get picked up by Slimy, who's going to go for the reset. Recovered by Yan Marie. Yan Marie going low. Connected. No, connecting only to the goaltender's post, as that is going to bounce again into the hands of Zion, who finds the back of the net, posting in. Oh my goodness, you can't do that. <laughs> Seven to two chameleons. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, so, some, a great play from chameleons there. Like, if name scored, they just wanted the scoreline to stay the same. They did not want name to score. It looks like we've got a pause here. I think they were unpausing now, actually. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but another pause. I'm, uh, I'm a bit confused at what's happening here. Well, they are just uh, waiting for no reason. Mm. But uh, that's okay. Woodsy, I mean, what have you seen so far in the first two and a half minutes of this game? I mean, both teams are playing very well, but Chameleons just absolutely dominating here, playing so well, really changed up their play style. Them adapting has certainly helped for them. Name, maybe feeling a, feeling a little boxed in here as they seem to always be in their own half. It's not great for them. They need to get out of their half and maybe instead of going for those clears, pass it around their back line. We've seen it in many matches this season. Pass it around the back line, wait for the defenders to come to you, and then you can just screech past them in those stacks. I absolutely agree. Amazing analysis. As always, master level, I get a treat for once. I'm with two master level players. Huge shout out to Big Jerry making his casting debut in season four. All the wonderful insights from him. And awesome, as always, the wonderful Woodsy, my man, the myth, the legend himself. But Big Jerry, I mean, coming into this next round, or sorry, coming into this last round, you know, how does that affect the mental game, in your opinion, when, you know, it's basically whoever wins takes it? I know. I mean, there's got to be some nerves from both sides here. Maybe name affecting uh, a bit more. Like, uh, I just can't imagine how it feels to win by so much in the first round and then lose by the same amount in the second. Like, Chameleon's really stepped up their game, to be honest. Like, they are playing phenomenally. 
They really are. I mean, Chameleons is the, adapting is the name of the game, as we always like to talk about. And I mean, they've definitely adapted to names play style. Maybe just more plays in the back of their head, more plays in the back of their minds. Mm -hmm. But we are going to get the unpause too, and we're going to get this game going right on time at 10 seconds, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But it is going to be unpausing coming through. And my goodness, five point game. Name looking to take this game right back away from Chameleon. Chameleon's hungry for the reverse sweep. Let's see what's going to happen. Jerry, take us in. Yep, we got Name here for the Joust advantage. Uh, different Joust this time. Box is going to pick up. Looks like he's going to wait a bit more. He's going to go for the pass to the wall, but it's not Ooh. quite going to connect. Oh, but Miola manages to get the slap down into tunnel, but the Chameleon stack is there to re recollect it. Uh, oh, back into the hands of Fox, back into the hands of Chirby, back into the hands of Miola, what is happening? Back into the hands of Chirby! I'm very confused what is happening, it's just table tennis between these two teams, back and forth and back and forth, managing to get it through though, back down to Slimy Thrower, he's gonna hold it, go kind of try and duke it around, go for the pass up into the hands of Fox. Uh, maybe Box is going to lose it here. Stay on, but, but get stunned. Slimy Throw is going to hold it now. Going to go for the bounce shot. Oh. Just dinging off the rim. Very close. But Yamari's going to be there to get the shot in. My, my, my. I mean... <laughs> it doesn't work once. Try and try again. That's certainly uh, the name in Chameleon's table tennis uh, slogan. Because they're just playing a game of catch there, basically. As it is going to be a seven-point goal differential for Chameleons. Unfortunately, not deciding to uh, either team to clear it not into the hands of the other player. They could have just looked the other way. But that's okay, as uh, Chameleons are happy with that outcome name. Maybe not as much. But it is going to get intercepted and slapped right back by Slimy Throw, who's going to get stunned in the face as a result. But Box on the back line. Box over to Sock. Sock going low. To low to Miola. Miola looking for the cut. It's good. And what a Ooh. shot by Sock. Finishes the Ooh. goal. Five point game. Yeah. Nine for Chameleons. Maybe Name, maybe name definitely has a chance to, you know, uh, come back here. Only 9-4. Half the game left to go with a, a nice little play there from Name. Maybe boosting their morale. Up being, sorry, I apologize for my keyboard. Uh... <laughs> But you know, okay, we see Chameleons here clearing it straight down. Looks like name stack is going to get there though. Box is going to have it now. It's going to clear it down left tunnel. It's going to go all the way through. Sock, no, not quite. Yamari's going to stun him. Going to be bouncing around the tunnel now. Going to be, oh, headbutt from Slimy Thrower. See what happens here. Uh, okay, finally, into mid. Sion's going to have it. But stun, Game Tech's going to pick up. Clear it down. Let's see what they can do here. See what they can do for sure as Slimy Thrower is going to recover that. But that's not going to get cleared out. That's going to get stuck in the trap area. That's right outside tunnel, right where the disc just was, as the disc usually gets stuck there. But that's going to be another not good clear by them. And that's going to again get recovered by Name. Name needs some points on the board right here, right now. The cross pass gets stunned, though, before the right angle is selected by his uh, throwing arm, as we are robots. Um, but it is going to be bouncing everywhere but into the hands of his teammates. Slimy Thrower once again recovering. Third time's the charm. Eh, kind of. And that's another pass. Not a good clear over across the field. Now two box. Box looking for his options. Two low. One high. One to the right. He picks the right as it's going to be over to Sock. Sock diving in but stunned by Slimy. And this is try, try, try again. Maybe this slap out will be good as it is. The stack is there to recover. Long three. And that's also oh. good. Zion. 15 meters out, 14 meters a second, 12 on the board. Yeah, Sion's really coming out of his home here. 17 points this game, like, wow. He's really playing well for his team. Name making the scoreline 12-4. Looks like Name has just advantage once again. Let's see what they do. Gonna pass it to left once again. It's gonna hold it, it seems. Clear it up top. Can the, can the stack get there? Looks like, oh, but no, Chameleon's going to get it. Going to clear it up top. Ooh, it's going to be floating around the mid now as Miola takes it here. You know, it's going to pass it down to Box. Box is going to hold it. Box is going to go for the long bounce shot, oh. but just not quite connecting. Just the wrong angle. Uh, looks like a uh, slap here. Slap into mid. Let's see if he can get there first. It is the stack from Name, but a nice steal uh, from Sion as he clears it down mid. Clearing it down mid, and the stack is there to recover. Slimy Thrower does what he does best. Unfortunately not. Hits the post. But now Sion trying again, and he does he what he does best. So many points already to his name. And that's going to be 14-4. Chameleons running away with this round three. 
Yeah, chameleons, really, 10 point difference. Like, wow, Sion once again getting the goal. They can, he cannot be stopped. As we see Nainvik with the Joust advantage once again. Uh, going past it left here. See the stack, got two stacks coming. What's he gonna do? He's gonna hold it, he's gonna clear it now. Gonna try and dribble it. Looks like he's going to be able, but he's gonna pick it up. Oh. Just gonna bounce off the Geo though, very close. As uh, Chameleon Stack's gonna pick this up now. Clear it down mid, that's gonna make it all the way through. But Chameleon Stack, oh, tried to capitalize, but just an unfortunate headbutt there as Miola picks it up and clears it back through the tunnel. Yeah, great slap from him. That's almost gonna be in, but hits off the post. His team there is there to be able to recover. And he's gonna hit the post too! Oh my goodness, dude. Scuffed shots, unfortunate, coming from name. But that's gonna be a quick pass, and again, intercepted by Cherby. Haven't heard too much of him this match, but he's gonna get bouncing right back. Unfortunately, Chameleon's not finding those clears that they're looking for, but there's a quick pass, two on one. Saved by Jan Marie! Wow. As that's gonna bounce into the midfield and into the hands of his stack. That's a long shot. That's not finding success, but that's finding the hands of his teammate. He's gonna find two points on the board. Great job from Cherby. Oh, a, some really unfortunate shots from Name there. That long shot, that would have been a, an amazing shot to turn maybe the ties of morale here, but not quite connecting. And and the ding from the on the two pointer. And you know, Camille just able to capitalize off it really well. Uh, once again, Name with the just advantage. Yeah, they're gonna hold it here, hold it on the stack, gonna clear it down right, uh, straight into the hands of Game Tech. He's gonna maybe go for down low. Box is gonna receive it here. Ooh, he's gonna get stunned. Nice stun from Sion. He's gonna collect it and clear it down right tunnel. Let's see who can beat the. He's gonna race here. It's Game Tech will win this one though and clear it back down. It's gonna be down left tunnel. Community stack just not quite making it, but. Uh, yeah, Marie able to collect it here. He's going to hold it, see, what, see what's happening, kind of slow it down a bit. A nice pass to see on. He's going to clear it down mid, right into the hands of Game Tech, though, and um, into the hands of Box. Uh, as Box takes it up here, go to the long bounce shot, just mm. unfortunately not connecting again. And with the timer running down, I think that is game for Chameleons. Certainly the game from Killians. I want to see them score. Come on. I want to see a 16-6. <laughs> Come on. I really do. I really do. But maybe I won't <laughs> yeah. get what I want uh -oh. as that is going to bounce out one second on the clock. That is the game. Round three over. As a reverse sweep, Chameleons. Man, oh man, Woodsy, what have you seen? I mean, I have seen so much going into this round. Well played by both teams. But before we start this, can I just highlight Sion, 19 points. Now, I didn't see him score too many in that first round but i think what happened i think i've figured it out he realized he was holding his controllers in the right wrong hands right because <laughs> surely he has changed something moving into that second round he played absolutely amazingly and still both teams playing very well those stats across the board are amazing from the goalies from the defenders from the strikers but chameleons just certainly switching something up the stacks were lightning fast the passes were always meeting their target and the recollections were absolutely amazing predicting every play as it happened. Absolutely perfect from Chameleons. Name, still playing very well, but just not able to catch up in that last round. Yeah, unfortunate, just too little too late. But man, we are gonna go right into this next matchup. Minimum requirement against Architects is coming right back up next. We are gonna take a few seconds to take a break. Um, just for run some ads, your favorite, I know. But before we do, huge shout out to our sponsors, HyperX, Asterian Products, ProTube VR, VBuff Reality, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net. Also, shout out to IgniteVR.gg and the Spark application, providing our stream statistics. Make sure you get it download before you miss it out. IgniteVR.gg forward slash Spark. Anyway, I'm Luke. That's Jerry. First cast season four. Mad love to him. And on the sideline, of course, is the ever so wonderful Woodsy on cams, Newton dad, Southern Tech Slinger himself. We'll be right back.
Starware. Our passion is for the future. Hello everyone and welcome back to VRMO channel 2, different vo voice this time as it is Woodsy in the caster's booth now, I'm joined by Jerry as well in the caster's booth and from the Great White North, that is Canada, just to highlight that, we have Luke on the sidelines and Newton Dad of course on the cams as always, he's absolutely amazing and we are doing minimum requirements versus architects, I'm very excited for these ones, got a couple quotes beforehand though, minimum requirements. They're feeling pretty confident at the moment. They're making sure to get the proper training in and warm up. Should it should be a good match for them. It could be close if we mess up a bit, but we want to make sure we get this win. Whereas on the side of architects, we feel confident. We practice daily and we'll perform on the hour and we will try our hardest. Hashtag team architects. They're looking to build up some plays, get some plans out. It will be absolutely amazing. And how are you feeling, Jerry? I'm feeling very excited about this match. I don't think we've seen too much of these teams so far this season. I'm really looking forward to see them play. I mean, certainly. Hopefully this will be a great match. Both of these teams having some experienced players. I've known Superdam for quite a long time. I met him in a previous game, and then I met him randomly again in Echo. So I've known that person for quite a while, and I know a couple of these players personally, and they are all amazing at what they do. So let's hope this is a good game. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely, uh, you know, I, I haven't seen the, too much of these players, but you know, I'm really looking forward to it, you know, like. Yeah, I get you. It's just, it's just great. Casting is amazing. We're just waiting for these teams to ready up. Couple people in chat. Hello, Snapdragon. Owen Dash, as always, Gorn Ben. Go away. My real name is Ben. I probably shouldn't say that, but, you know. <laughs> It's out there, Owen knows it, so it is there. Luke hyping us up, thanks for that Luke, just quiet here on the sidelines. Jerry in chat as well, don't know why you two are communicating in chat, you are both here, but it's it's <laughs> happening there as we just see, maybe trying to get their roster sorted out, a couple of switches on the rosters there, five people on one team, not quite sure what's happening. I'm not quick enough to see who's on what roster, but hopefully we're gonna get this started soon. And just, Jerry, how's your first week of VRM Melbourne? You know, it's been really well. I mean, as Luke mentioned last game, we just uh, he's got a uh, master tier uh, at the beginning of this season. I'm really looking forward to see where that takes us. I mean, yeah, I feel a bit weird talking to the about this to you because we are on the same team. You know, yeah. it's just yeah. like talking to ourselves. But I'm looking <laughs> forward to it, and I hope everyone in chat is looking forward to these first matches. Obviously, not everyone has played it. Our team's playing both of ours on Sunday, but um, oh, I'm getting all the good job Ben's in chat. Oh no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, hopefully some people have played them and hopefully you are enjoying them because that's obviously why we are all here. We love yeah. to enjoy our matches more than just about the competition. Certainly when you get higher up it is, but I certainly know that our team enjoys them. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, yeah, sometimes we enjoy them a bit too much when we should be taking them a bit more seriously. But, you know, it's, it's a game, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's, as you said, it's why we're here. And as Owen said, good job, Ben. 
Oh no, here we go. It's going to keep going. It's going to haunt me for the rest of my casting career with Guillermo. Oh well, it's there. I mean, both of these teams do sound pretty confident, so hopefully this will be a very good match. Both teams may be underestimating each other as both have had a lot of practice as we see both readies, I believe that was. Or maybe just a double sound on my end coming out. No, there we go. And Jerry, I'll let you take this one away. Okay, well, I'll go with the signature Ben intro, and so I can hear their boosters rumbling. They are very excited to get into this game. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, on the mutual joust, looks uh, looks like art architects are going to win this one, uh, but minimum requirement stack are going to be there to collect it as they clear it down right tunnel. Uh, it's going to be bouncing, and another the other stack from go for the three pointer, and he hits it. What a way to start the game off! 14 seconds in. Nice shot by Super Dan. Absolutely calm and collected as he just sends it in there. I don't believe there was a goalie. If so, maybe a bit too far away from the goal as they secure those first points for minimum requirements. Looking strong so far as the joust advantage is now put on the side of Architects, looking to build something here, but they just can't as they miss the disc. Maybe some miscommunication. Looks like that will be, oh no, minimum requirements. Too cocky maybe on that, too confident that they have that disc. Just fumbling it there as it does go towards their own half. The stacks are on this questionable cube. What can he do with it? Looking for the reset there. That was a fast pass. Sorry, I messed up my sides. It wasn't. That was a recollection by minimum requirements. My brain's working overtime for some reason. Super Dan looking for his next opportunity. Down low over to Questionable Cube. Looking for his next pass. Duking around. Sending that defender flying. Dime looking for his next passing option. That's always what they're doing up to Super Dan. Super Dan just missed on the receive. That was a quick accurate pass but just not accurate enough as one piece looking for his teammate over there dime gonna walk it up but what a save from it's james and a recollect by his teammate on accident ducky boy but still getting it through that neutral zone over to one piece one piece recollecting there but back to spectre spectre looking for the clear bounces off of a geo and back into his own half though that is very unfortunate for him as I don't know how to say that. Is that Cyanox that has the disc there? But the stack is on it. It doesn't matter as it goes past the goal and back over to the left-hand side. Here we see Dime just on the disc, looking for his teammate there and meeting him. One piece. Now cutting himself off a bit from the passing options, but still able to find one. Just fumbled, though, as it goes off of the Geo, not able to recollect. Questionable Cube, nice stun retrieving the disc. Yeah, we see his, uh, his pass to Dime, pass to Super Dan, but just thinking again, a lovely save once again from Spectre as he clears it down mid. At the moment, it really is quite a game of ping pong. Architects throwing it down to a minimum requirement, recollecting and clearing it back as they have just done again. Super Dan has it now as he, he's being pressured, walking it in for the two, but a, a great save from It's James as he passes it to uh, uh, Synop, I believe it's pronounced, and... You know, uh, oh, Ducky Boy, I think, has this now as uh, minimum requirements go back into defense. He's going to walk it up. A lovely steal and stun from Dime. He's going to clear it down to the tunnel. It's going to be it's going to be a race here for it, a race that once uh, again, Architects will win. Or will they? Yes, they will, as they clear it down left tunnel. Straight into the hands of One Piece, though. He's going to hold it. He's going to maybe slow down the play a bit. He's going to try and juke around him. Uh, as one he passes to Questionable Cube, he's got this Questionable Cube once again just holding it. Goes to the pass up ceiling to Dime. Uh, da oh, down to Super Dan, but just not quite connecting. Super Dan able to recollect it though. He's gonna walk it up, hold it on the floor maybe, looking for, looking for the open pass up to just trying to juke around. Uh, Super Dan, he still has it, uh, and he's he's passed it finally to Dime. Dime has it. He's gonna back to Super Dan, going up, passing back to One Piece. One Piece has it now. He's holding it. He, uh, he's waiting just like Super Dan was, and he's passed up to Super Dan. He's walking it in, and he goes for the slam dunk. Ah, oh, unfortunate for Architects. Super Dan, a super slam dunk there, as he just sends it in, putting his team five points ahead. Uh, just under four minutes gone. Yep, just under four minutes. My brain had to redo that then. As that puts the Joust advantage back into the hands of Architects, as Ducky Boy this time on the disc... There's someone back in defense, though, maybe going for a perma goalie. That isn't perfect for the offense, but it will certainly help them on this defense. As that pass bounces off the backboard, the stack looking to recollect this as both teams going for it. There we go. It's James on it once again, looking for his passing option in the middle. Just past them, though, as they seem to have had a miscommunication. Super Dan, lovely reset coming out from him. Dime looking for that clear, and then the stack to get there. Questionable Cube, though, getting it. That was a lovely pass. I thought it was a clear, but apparently not, as it is through 
That bubble there, Super Dan recollecting, looking for the pass down low, and Dime gonna walk it up. What a save from it's James. This man is a wall in the defense as it is killed through the neutral zone. Yeah, it's James. It's not letting a disc past him. He will not let it happen. Oh, a nice pass and a clear. Oh, just dinging off the ring. Spectre managed to grab it and throw it into the throw it to the side. Super Dan recollecting it though. To the stack at Nugget. Uh, one piece and dimes kind of holding it as they kind of split up to get into more passing positions. Uh, Super Dan just holding it, going across for one piece. He gets it. One piece just backing it up, backing it up, maybe slowing down the play. He he's ducking towards the floor. Doing a little dance, maybe one piece. He goes for the pass up to Pillar and he makes it. He goes for the shot to, from Super Dan and he gets it in. Another lovely shot coming out from Super Dan. I do believe that is all seven points for him. Obviously, he doesn't get them all. It was one piece and dime, setting up some nice plays off of their backs and questionable cube, providing a passing option. The team is playing very well together, but Super Dan just getting those finishes in there as the Joust advantage is put back onto Architects. And I believe we've had a player drop here. One didn't come out of the spawn room as it's James just holding it, waiting for that pressure. He doesn't have all the time in the world, but he certainly has enough to play it slightly slowly. But Dime, what an interception! Just missing on that slap, accidentally slapping out of his hands. A super down, looking for the shot, and once again, he hits that three. Yeah, I mean, Architects drop a player and uh, minimum requirements, just able to capitalize off it instantly with a lovely steal. Uh, from Dime, but we see we're, we're seeing a pause here as uh, as we see Architects trying to uh, get their fourth player back into the game, back into the action. Certainly, yes. Yeah, we're just waiting for this fourth player. It's awful to play a three before, and I don't blame them for waiting. And maybe they could use this time to get a mental reset. That's what I like to call it. They just need to recollect themselves and just try and figure out what they're doing wrong. First, look at themselves. What am I doing wrong? What have I done that's given it to the enemy team? Next, look at the team as a whole. What can we do to improve? Is that a sub coming on? That is their substitute coming on. Frozen Tomato, the substitute for Architects. Maybe subbing in here, or maybe he is. The Unpause comes out, and that is a substitute. And that's not always perfect for a team, Jerry. Uh, yeah, it's not, you know, maybe, uh, hopefully they got a warm-up before this with the sub, but if not, they're gonna have to just adapt to, uh, to Frozen Tomatoes playstyle. You know, we'll see, uh, we'll see the architects on the Joust advantage here, see what they can do, see what they can improve and change. As we see, uh, it's James having it here, getting stunned, but managed to get the clear down. Ooh, just past the defender. It's going to be floating down the blue half. Oh, Super Dan able to get it, but stunned by Frozen Tomato, already showing his uh, value. Uh, a stun from Spectre. He, oh, he just misses the shot down low. It's very unfortunate. Into the hands of Sire, not though. Oh, but stunned and picked up by Super Dan, who clears it down the right tunnel. Let's see, and the stack instantly, just missing it, but the other stack to recollect. Goes to the long shot, almost. Oh, and just missed the two-pointer. Very unfortunate one piece here, holding it. Gets a nice block. Uh, he's just going to hold it, try and juke it around the defenders here. One piece still holding it, but he gets stunned by Spectre. A nice stun, and Spectre collects it. Tries to clear it down, but an unfortunate bounce into the hands of Dime. He's going to ooh, go for the pass, but unfortunately bouncing off the Geo Frozen Tomato here. He has it now. Let's see what he can do that... Uh, can improve just oh gets it down just bouncing off the geo it's james holding it once again in the hands of frozen tomato oh but tries to pass but into the hands of super dan but it's james managed to get it again and finally getting that pass damn luke doing you dirty in chat jerry they're doing an all counter because apparently you say that a lot but i don't uh, blame you just uh, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> just emphasizing the plays and what an interception there just recollecting and recollected again looking for that clear Cyan, oh, I still don't know how to say it. Cyanox, we'll go with that. As Dime, looking for the stun in the reset, trying to set up that play there. Trying to get a set piece as they pass it over to the left. Dime, looking for his next pass. Super Dan, nice and quick off of their hands. A nice shot just past the goalie into the left-hand side of the goal. Yeah, now it's 12-0 for mineral requirements here. Uh, I, ha I I need to find something to replace. Ooh, I, I, yeah, I'm really not sure what else to say. Maybe... Maybe wowzers, like I said last game. I think that I think that will have to make do. I don't want that count to be any higher. As we see, uh, architects with the jazz advantage. Oh, passing it straight into the hands Five. of time as we get a fifty. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we'll just continue anyway. Um, wowzers, as we see, it uh, frozen tomato here. 
uh, clearing it down, floating around mid. Um, uh, oh, a nice stun from Cyanoct as uh, <laughs> as Throne Tomato picks it up, clears it down, manages to get it through. It's going to be bouncing around a uh, minimum requirement to Super Dan is able to pick it up. Wow's is a nice stun from its James. One piece able to pick it up. Uh, it's going to be holding it. Oh, off the head of Questionable Cube, but he manages to pick it up. Uh, bouncing bouncing around, unfortunately. And a nice headbutt and stun from Super Dan and One Piece stack as they clear it down into the half. Uh, back into the hands of Super Dan. Let's see if he can get the long three. Yes, he can from 23 meters away. 15 nil. Wowzers. <laughs> just said Wowzers in there. And I mean, they are certainly smashing this round. I just, I'm lost for words. Minimum requirements, well done. Certainly, as they said, the training and warm ups are helping. They want it to be a good match for them. Uh, they said it'd be close if they mess up a bit. Maybe not messing up at all then here is One Piece getting the disc here. Trying to go for the clear, but not quite as it bounces back. Dime looking for his next option. Just going for that clear. Maybe a bounce off of the backboard was his hope as looking for the recollect is super down. Just not quite there as it's cleared into that right trap. That's what we call it because the disc is always trapped there. Is looking for the clear here. We see Architect trying to send it through the neutral zone, but not quite getting through as it bounces around on Geo. Now we see Cyanoct looking for the clear, just dropping the disc maybe there, but recollecting it, looking for the pass through the neutral zone, bouncing around up top there as both teams looking to recollect. Dime burst on it, looking for the slap through the middle, but Spectre, perfect read from him, just dropping the disc, and that will be round going to minimum requirements. Very well played from them. Some amazing plays coming out from both teams. Architects still providing some amazing plays, and to hear about that more, we'll go to Luke. Man, thank you for that, Woodsy. What an amazing round. I just have to say the Ooh counter is at 11 and the Wowza counter is at 3. But uh, enough of that. Into the game. I mean, absolutely dominant game from Minimum Requirement. Definitely hitting those requirements for the win. I mean, 15 points up. Absolutely shutting out Architects. I mean, what can I say? Great saves. Great. You know, they found the open lanes. They spread out. They played time. They played space. And that's what minimum require. That's what any team needs to do in Echo. They found the punish. They punished the mistakes from Architects, and Architects not even able to get on the board. No assists, no goals. I mean, some great saves from it's James that we saw keeping them in there. I mean, huge shout out to him keeping this so close. But I mean, minimum requirement. The dynamic duo, Super Dam, Dime, One Piece, absolutely playing as a well-oiled machine, as. I mean, there's not much else to say. They're just absolutely crushing it, but there still is a second game, a second round to play. And, uh, man, I mean, if I was uh, currently on Architects, I would be saying, okay, guys, we can do this. We can turn it around. We didn't find success going for, you know, those long passes. We didn't find success. We were clumping too much. Let's trust each other. Let's communicate well. Let's find those open passing lanes. Let's make sure at the end of the day that we are stunning when need be. We're not pushing ourselves out. We're not going for unnecessary 50-50s. We're going for calling out, finding the stacks, and staying close together because the speed of a minimum requirement is absolutely, absolutely, you know, there. And Architects just looked like they need more practice at least to beat this team of minimum requirements but you know what architects is a new team this is just the beginning of the story for them this is just the beginning of the story in season four you know lots of experienced players across the board for them but minimum requirements they've been around the block right there are they've been gold last season they're gold this season again so architects i mean mad props to you mad love to you um, but there's still lots of time for them to get that much better and that much there. Um, the, we do have to see the scoreboard update to Hyperion Phantoms. Uh, it is not them. It is Architects uh, playing against minimum requirements. So that will be changed shortly. Um, but man, oh man, here we go. Round two. Take us away. And just as we go in here, both teams looking for this disc, looking to recollect. As the bounce does come straight off the head, but, but Cyanox, perfect steal, sending it through that neutral zone. Uh, uh, yeah, as we see here, uh, minimum requirement able to recover it and recollect it here, clear it down mid. Ooh, it's just gonna bounce, unfortunately. As uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a loose disc here. Who will be it? Questionable Cube will win the race, and uh, it will be once again Super Dan taking the shot. Not quite in though, a bit wide. Uh, uh, as we see Cyanoct here with the with possession, oh, gets stunned out before he can finish his throw, and he uh, by his teammate is able to recollect it and clear it all the way down. And I have just heard from 
Ducky Boy, I believe it is, that their internet crashed, so that's the reason for the sub. But certainly doing their work in here. Just unfortunate for them in the first round, but I'm hoping for a comeback. Second round is going for the bounce shot, just a bit wide of that little bit at the back, though, that will send it into the goal as Dime. I mean, obviously, it won't send it straight into the goal. It, it's not sentient, but it, it does its best. <laughs> Dime looking for the clear through here as it goes into the half of the Architects. Lovely stack to recollect that, getting the stun and questionable cube. Just stunned out there by Frozen Tomato, showing his worth, but just going for the shot there and just wide by Super Dan. Super plays once again, but not quite meeting the goal. As Spectre looking for the slap clear. One piece on the recollect though, guarding his own half as he passes it back to Questionable Cube. Questionable Cube, quick pressure on him. Very good man marking in this defense. As Super Dan has to take a minute for that opportunity to arise, and he certainly does. One piece looking for the walk, but Frozen Tomato. Tomato, whatever. Amazing from him as it's cleared through the neutral zone and the stack recollects. It's James looking for the pass up to the right and it's certainly it's Med and it goes for the shot. Spectre getting the points for his team and putting them on the board. Wow, their first points of the game. Architects, maybe can we see a reverse sweep here from 15 -0? Uh Well, maybe we could consider last round a warm-up for Frozen Tomato and maybe he'll, maybe we could see some amazing plays from him here as we see uh, Jazz Advantage going to minimum requirement. Ooh, it's just going to bounce off the Geo into the hands of It's James. He's going to get it past the stack, going for the long mouse shot. Unfortunately, not quite getting there as Min Requiant Stack comes back to recollect it. Clears down mid into the hands of... Ooh, sign up, but he gets stunned. <laughs> now it's just going to be floating around mid. It's James is going to take it now. Maybe go for the long shot. It's not going to connect just yet. But Frozen Tomato able to recover and score, showing his worth for his team. I mean, Frozen Tomato is certainly pulling in work for a sub. He's playing extremely well with this team. Certainly had some training with them. As that puts Architects 4-0 up, a strong lead for this start after the last round. Certainly had a mental reset into round two here, taking it as a new game completely as Dime looking for the dribble here. That's where a re-grabbing stack throws the disc and follows it. Questionable Cube up to Super Dan, but just missed on the receive there as it bounces over to the right. It's James once again recollecting that, looking for the long clear. But the stacks from... <laughs> this team just quick just there straight away questionable cube looking for that clear through to the middle but a lovely interception by it's james it's james looking to do the architect's proud as he walks up shields looks for the shot and sends it in below the goalie very well done to him minimum requirements six points down yeah minimum requirements are kind of falling back a bit here giving architects a bit of room maybe a bit too much room as they're able to pull six points ahead they could they definitely did not do that last round uh, let's see if minimum requirements can uh, adapt to their new play style as we see them on the jazz advantage gonna dribble it left dribble it left the tunnel gonna clear it down oh into the hands of question cube but it's get stunned so I'm gonna be able to recover it passing across unfortunately a bit of miscommunication allowing no one to receive that but super Dam does manage to recover it as he passes down left once again uh, maybe a bit of miscommunication disallowing the game uh, uh, the receive from Dime, but he gets it anyway as he passes to Questionable Cube. Questionable Cube going to the. Oh, unfortunately missing Super Dan. Oh, and again a slap from One Piece, but Spectre is there to save it. A lovely save. Uh, looks like minimum requirements are going to take uh, possession here as they. Oh, try and clear it down, but it's going to bounce off the Geo. Dime manages to slap it down, uh, down to One Piece. One piece holding it here, maybe looking for some passing opportunities. Uh, and he finds one. Super Dan takes it here. Uh, up. Oh, not quite to anyone there as uh, Architects managed to collect it and clear it down the tunnel. I mean, I thought it's James was the main goalie for this team, but maybe that's wrong because Spectre has been playing insanely well as well. We have had a drop here as Dime just collecting it in his half, playing a bit slowly here. Uh, that is the sub dropping though, so maybe. We will get the main roster back in action as it's looking for a recollect on the back lines, but an open goal. Will it be in? It's off the backboard and one piece stunning shot from him. 16 meters out. That's some accuracy. <laughs> yeah, the first goal from someone on minimal requirements. That wasn't super Dan. As we see a pause here, if if the main roster for Architects isn't back, I'm not sure what they're going to do here. Like, you know, if they're they got a sub in, but even he dropped. Really unsure uh, the fate of this game. They certainly need to look to do something because they had a very strong lead. Unlucky at the end. Maybe that caused them to lose those first points, but you never know. That could be minimum requirement startup. That 
could be their motivator. That could be the fuel in the oven to get them started and turn on that back burner, get them back into this game, get this in two rounds. But also, Architects playing extremely well. The back line is very strong, and their offense has just gotten even stronger. Their counterplays are amazing. And it looks like... Was that an unpause? Are they going to play the 3v4? Oh, another pause. They're, they're psyching me out. They're trolling me. Okay. Interesting. Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure what's <laughs> happening. They're trolling me hard. Unpause, pause, unpause, pause. That's what they're going for. Maybe trying to play a little song with the pause noise. You never know. But uh, just hope everyone in chat is having a good day. And this is a very interesting match here. I'm certainly enjoying it. Uh, yeah, me too. And it looks like Frozen Tomatoes managed to get back into the game and not uh, uh, not abandoning Artex, allowing them to, uh, you know, to have uh, a full roster at least. And, uh, you know, 6-3, they are just getting back on top. Let's see if they can continue that as, the, as they unpause, maybe. Certainly, the unpause can do a lot. It can do a lot. It can hurt a team. It can boost a team up. Certainly, I've been in both situations where we've been playing so well in the pause, I just can't seem to throw afterwards. But on the other hand, I've been playing awfully, had a pause, and I'm right back into the game. As we've had a drop again, but they seem to be playing the 3v4. They cannot do another pause, I don't believe. I mean, I'm not a moderator, I don't know, but from what I understand, they cannot. As they go out for this disc here, 3v4. One of the players still in the tunnel there, as Frozen Tomatoes still here. Uh, it's James dropped. It took me a minute to realize who, but Spectre playing it slowly here on the back lines. Uh, yeah, I mean, they were just getting on top. Three points ahead. Oh, and it's still from one piece. Very unfortunate. It's still back from Dime. And he just dings it off. Maybe a bit of, maybe a bit too confident there. As, uh, I guess, I guess they're just going to pass it around the bubble and go for the two. Uh, yeah, very unfortunate that it's James dropped as he was playing very well. Like, well, he was a phenomenal goalie, and I'm really not sure what they'll do without him. But I think we see another pause here. Yeah, and the other pause coming out. I'm not sure who paused here, but just trying to get that fourth player back desperately. I don't blame them. It is a very awkward situation to be in, just waiting here. I mean, my God. It's a tense game. The one point difference is the most tense <laughs> of games. I just, I, I don't know. I, I'm just lost for words. I don't know what to say. These teams are so close, neck and neck, fighting for this match. Certainly, it seems to be that minimum requirements, going at the rate they are, will take this back as they've got these two points relatively close. I mean, damn. We'll see what happens going into this. As we just see these teams coming back out of this booster. One out of each tunnel, it seems, for mm. Architects. As they're looking to get these passing plays left and right. Quick passing play off there, but just off of the Geo. In an awkward spot, and One Piece recollecting. The goal seems to be covered at the moment by Spectre. But certainly, some passing plays could get it around him. As One Piece duking around on that floor. Looking for the pass over to the left in questionable cube. Looking for the next pass up to the top. Having three players means they can't mark everyone as it goes into the goal. It leaves two passes open, and it is very hard as Super Dan giving them the lead. Yeah, very unfortunate for Architects. As you said, they can mark, they can't mark all of their players. There's only so much you can do with a missing player. Um, but it looks like they're going to go with a, the same interesting strat, one out of each channel. Let's see if they can do anything different here. Uh, ooh, uh, Spectre able to juke around one of the players. He clears it down right. Oh, straight into the hands of one piece. A nice, a nice uh, interception from him as he's just going to hold it. He's going to hold it, walk it up slowly. And he passes to Ness. Super Dan has it. Uh, kind of go to Dime. Dime's going to have it now. Oh, but just dinging again. I think that is the second time we've seen a ding from Dime. Ah, uh, Super Dan now passing it up, not quite connecting with anyone except for Questionable Cube, who's able to recover it. Back up to Dime. Dime goes for another shot, but unfortunately just misses again as Spectre gets possession. Unfortunately, though, it's bouncing very unfortunately for them, as uh, as uh, minimum requirements are able to recollect. But some interesting passing going on.
able to, uh, may, maybe architects may be able to turn around. I don't think so, as minimum requirements keep it. One Piece has it now. He's just going to, you know, they're just trying to pass around the bubble, maybe waste a bit of time going for a, ooh, pass the backboard, but not quite connecting. Uh, Dime and Questionable Cube able to recollect it on the stack, going for the backboard pass once again. Super Dan able to pick this one up. Passing to One Piece, passing to Dime as they go for the goalie stun in the 3v4, and he scores it. That's a three-point lead. That's pretty strong. Good position for them. Only one and a half minutes left. It's not looking great as another pause comes out. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Maybe another player trying to join back. Luke saying six to nine right on time. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what's happening here. It's so unfortunate for Architects. They were doing so well. As we see a player join back, that's what oh, they need. Yes. They need this now. It could happen. <laughs> It could happen. I have hope. I'm not saying anything <laughs> against minimum requirements before I get accused, but I love the round threes. I want to see the comeback story as they have a minute and a half to bring this back. <laughs> yeah, maybe Architects can show us they are true underdogs. As they get It's James back, they have a goalie and they can, you know, they can finally do proper strategies that they wanted. Uh, looks like they're gonna. Uh, looks like it's James is gonna pick this up for QB. Oh, unfortunate pass down to Trench though. Gonna go into the hands of one piece after bouncing off the wall. He goes for the long shot. Will he make it? Yes, he will. They may have got a fourth player, but that does not stop minimal requirements from making impressive plays and shots. I mean, that might be the nail in the coffin. There a minute left. They really need to pick this up. Architects. They need to dig themselves out. Some quick plays need to come out here as the stacks need to be lightning fast. Looking for this here is Cyanox, looking for the pass through the neutral zone, but it gets stuck. Dime looking for the slap back, and Cyanox once again looking for that shot, maybe, as it goes on back off the barrier. The stacks looking to recollect this. All four players on that one man looking for that disc. It is lost, though. It's James looking for the pass up through the mid, but the player is stunned. Spectre chasing it, but Questionable Cube is there first. And I believe they are out of mathematical time. That is unfortunate for Architects unless they pull something quickly, but it is lost in their half. No stacks to recollect. Questionable Cube looking to seal the deal. Not quite, though, as it's sent wide. One piece up to the top there. I believe that is Super Down looking to recollect, but Architects don't want to lower that score anymore. It's Frozen Tomatoes looking for that clear through, trying to stop any more goals coming in, as I believe he has. Five seconds remaining, Questionable Cube looking for the clear, but the stack is there. It's James to stop that match. But unlucky for Architects, minimum requirements, lovely play from them, managing to take that. And Luke, what did you think about that round? Man, that round was so hype. Definitely a turnaround round for Architects. And I think a good look as to what we can expect to them for the rest of season four. Tech issues aside, I mean, those always are unfortunate, but at the end of the day, they played really solid when they had all four players on this arena in the server, ready to go, ready to play. Unfortunately, it's James dropped. It's fortunate that Frozen Tomato dropped, or Tomato, or whatever you want to call it, but regardless, Architects had a solid game. They turned around round two. They could have won that if it wasn't for the tech issues, I think, to maybe take it to a round three, but minimum requirement, absolutely insane. Super Dan getting 17 points on the board, This uh, two points this round but 15 in round one great job from one piece and dime really coming up and getting some points on the board to uh, get that round two win but at the end of the day minimum requirement they've been a team a lot longer you know they've been a, an established roster for a little while now you know dimes an established captain architects they're a new team but this is just the beginning for both of them so i'm so excited to see what both these teams have to offer throughout the season of season four It certainly was a good match, and I'm going to have to sh cut this short quickly because we do have another cast right now. Moving over to Channel 1 for Phantoms vs. Hyperion, I believe it is. Thank you for everyone who watched. Thank you to Jerry for casting with me. Thank you to Luke and Newton Dad, as always. Always amazing over here. And I hope everyone enjoyed the matches. Well done to minimum requirements on that last game, and I will see you all later.